Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to Drifting Dreamers 5. This month is February, so welcome to the February Review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to take you through some things that's happened through the month and catch you back up. Let's start it off with heading on over to Mama V's with us working on the roof. So I was the only one that was really able to get out there on the ledge and be able to swing through like that. And I wasn't really nervous all that much. I'll give big props to Drew though. Drew finally did get out on the edge. Gary, Gary said he would have if he needed to, but no one needed to at the time. We also got to spend some awesome time over at Warks Little Field. Hanging out with Jamie and Kevin. Yep, for the Super Bowl. Yep. My 49ers made it to the Super Bowl. Unfortunately, we wasn't able to pull it off against the Kansas City Chiefs, but there was a lot of great people over there that we got to hang out with, and we had a really, really good time. Jamie definitely knows how to host a party. I love how she decorates everything. Yeah, I can't wait to get back over there and hang out with everybody again. With it being February and winter still kind of lingering around and being rainy season and already dealing with all the snow from January, the drifters lane really took a beat down and man we have had trial after trial after trial with that road it has been a heck of a challenge to our children when you look back and you remember about this time that we just couldn't make it down the driveway and we had to pull all of our materials that we bought back to the landing i want you to remember this poem this poem is called life steps and it's written by katherine pulsifier our entire life is made up of choices what we decide the action we take the attitude we display all represent the steps of life sometimes we take two steps forward and one step back some of us take baby steps, some of us take giant steps, but the secret is to not let that one step back turn into a failure. Learn from the backward steps and keep on stepping forward in this dance called life. That was beautiful. No matter how hard life gets, you guys can do and conquer anything. Remember, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. And then Valentine's Day was a really nice day. I got to take you up to Mount Magazine and we had a really great lunch. That was a beautiful day. It was so nice. The food was delicious. 
It was views were amazing. Yeah, it was a bright sunny day, clear blue sky. It wasn't a no smog around. Yeah. <laughs> and I always love being with my king. That's fine. I love you. I love you. Oh, something else that was really awesome that we found out also this month was that we can start pulling water out of the creek right by our house. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Which also solved our, how are we going to fill our pool when we eventually put it up? Yeah, that's right. Well, now we know, guys. Matter of fact, check this out. What's going on, guys? I hope everyone has been doing good. I'm about to show you how we have been getting water for the last couple days. We not only have been pulling from the creek, but now we're able to pull from the creek right behind the camper. I'm gonna take you guys on a little walk. It's not even far away, less than 200 feet. Let me show you what I got going on. As you can see right here, I got a blue water hose going in, where are we at? Going in right there. Let's see where the other end's going. So I'll show you the beginning of the water hose going into that bucket right there and here let's take a journey with the water hose here's in case you guys don't see it here's the water hose right here and we don't have too much light water hose right here it is getting dark and the generator is running so apologize about that but I wanted to give you guys an idea what it's like so here's the end of my first hose this is just a 50 foot hose i believe and then it goes on for another 100 feet this way so let's follow it sorry the camera is not working very great at night it's trying to autofocus because we're using stability Still, still following the hose. Oh. So right now, I got our little EcoFlow River 2 Pro. I also got the Vitamin Flash Speed 1500 out here. And the Vitamin is actually on charge. I have the generator on and it's charging up the Vitamin and the water hose goes all the way into our pump here's our um our pump right here and it's going to go on the other end of uh on the end side i have this little guy right here and i'll show you maybe there we go and it has like a little screen in the back of it so we're going to screw that back on Good and tight. And look at this crystal clear. Man, the creek is just flowing nicely. Flowing nicely. Right off right out of our backyard, guys. Look at there. About 150 feet away. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is throw her right there. And get it out of the pile of leaves that looks like a pretty good spot so I'll get the plug get the plug in and I'll plug it in right here to the Vitoman turn it on there she is she's pumping all right, guys, as you can see, we got water coming in, going into the pump. It's going coming out the other end. Let's go check it out. And then I'll show you how I can fill up the 55 gallon drum and simultaneously fill up the camper. Let's go check it out. I don't even know if Lisa will keep this footage because it's not so great. All right, guys, we are coming back up onto it. And the good news, is that I don't see a hose on the ground. So we're gonna follow the hose. Nice. 
So we're gonna have that rolling. I also have this hose here connected to this pump. And this is actually a 12 volt pump. And I have it connected to our battery right here. Sorry guys, low light right here. And then it's gonna, we're gonna go inside of this pump, go through this blue water hose and go right into the camper. Let's do it. Yep. Coming out of there. Let's just check it real quick. Get a little light. There we go. There we go. Crystal clear water. Look, you can see all the all the brown from the other water. Woo! Water down! Woo! I am super, super grateful that we're able to pull the water from the creek like that and be able to utilize what we can. I mean, we will eventually start doing some rainwater catchment and stuff like that, but for now, we're able to utilize what we can utilize. And now I don't have to worry about tearing up the road with the tractor on the rainy days. I also went up to Uncle David's with Come On Home Setting to do a little bit of, little bit of hands-on action up on his new kitchen and, and bathroom area that he's building in his tiny house. I did a little bit of work up there. Check this out. All right, guys, I'm up here on Come On Mountain this morning. Up here helping Uncle David get some things rolling around. There he is right there. Yeah. We just got these boards over here burned up, and then we're gonna burn some more. Yeah, we're about to burn, burn, burn. So these are the final uh, boards right here for the inside of Come On Pump House. I just got done with the torch, torching all these up. That way it matches up with these that, that are already in here. And then he'll hit them with a coat of that good poly. And then all that'll be good. It'll be going on the walls right there. And that looks pretty nice but this over here is what we've all been waiting on we're gonna set this big giant pile of blaze this is gonna be so exciting time to put the heat to it real cooker all right guys we went ahead and started the fire over there on the big brush i'm gonna take the boards that i went ahead and burned and put a couple of coats of polyurethane on them let's go ahead and get it All right, let's get this last one. Not too bad. One coat on each of them. Let's get back to work. Got to refill the polyurethane. Let's do it. And two coats later. This is what we got. This is going to be final product. It really makes it look nice. It's real nice. All right, guys, let's go over here and check and see what the progress on the fire looks like. Well, where there's smoke, there's fire. We finally got it blazing pretty good. Uncle David has pushed it back and forth, up and down, shaking a lot of that dirt that's been on top of it off, fell down. getting a nice blaze 
Oh yeah, even at the top up here in the middle. Let's climb up this mountain. She's getting hot. We went over to our friend's house, Simple Life Reclaim, Melanie and Gary, and we got to have a, a chicken day with them. And <laughs> by chicken day, this is what I mean. I want to say thank you to them both for teaching and letting us come over and experience that with them. Um, it's nice to know where your food comes from and you know how the process works and I think everybody should know how to do this it, especially if you're a meat eater guys we also celebrated Abe and Julia's birthday Happy unfortunately birthday. I didn't get to go hang out with you guys to do that me and Jacob were here at the house sick now the February started off quite chilly little signs of spring started to appear and how much joy that brought to the dreamers. Even though my heart is weak, even when my arms are empty, even if they don't believe, it doesn't mean it isn't true, even though I'm black and blue, even when they tell me not to, even if I end up used, it doesn't mean I'm the fool, cause magic takes time, and I've got my sights and they're sad on you and one day with your AG1 or whatever. Whoa! Yeah, he's a snapping turtle. <laughs> Might make you smile and then I'll see hallelujah in the dark I see through the raging sea You unleash all your worry, all your doubt. Please believe in me. It's magic, my love. The way you feel. It's magic, my love. But still so real. I don't care where. Oh, what do we got here? A trespasser. This doggy does have a GPS tracking collar on it and a phone number. I did call the owner. The owner's on its way. Halo and Odin were outside and Halo looked like he wanted to eat him for lunch. Oh yeah, here's a little clip. A little question for you guys. Lissa found this. Get that stick, baby. Look at this. It's like a little little jelly thing with a little black stuff in the side of it. Look at that. What do you what do you guys think that is? Drop it in the comments. What is that? What did you think it was? What was the conclusion you came to? Tadpoles, maybe? I think so too. I think we stumbled up on some tadpoles. I don't know. Drop it in the comments, guys. What in the heck is that? We also took Halo and Odin to go get neutered at the end of this month. I'm hoping they'll be able to calm down and once again be brothers and not fighting all the time. Fingers crossed this works. Halo, Halo. Hold my hand. Halo. Hold my hand. Thank you. You're a good boy. Halo's a good boy. Him a good boy. He likes to hold my hand, guys. Where did Odin go? Where did him go? Today is day the dogs get fixed, guys. Fingers crossed this will help the uh, little issues we're having with Odin. We'll see. <laughs> And speaking of dogs, you know we've been working on the fence with the doggies. Here's the new dog run. I know we put a lot of time and effort into that.
Nicholas has done a really good job working on these every month. Better and better every time. Don't forget, we have a new channel called Dreaming with Drifters. It's our vlog channel, and we do keep everybody up to date on a daily basis on what's going on there, Monday through Friday, and sometimes even on the weekends. We hope to see you guys on the next one. And don't forget to subscribe to Drifting Dreamers 5 if you haven't. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. We love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Keep on following your dreams. We're going to keep on chasing ours. And remember, if you can dream it, you can dream it. Bye. Bye.